Covering our counties tonight at 10, Fox Carolina breaking new details on the arrest of this Lawrence County mother. She's accused of abusing her toddler so badly that he's now fighting for his life and leaving her other children in horrific conditions. And she's pregnant with another child due in a matter of weeks. This is Savannah Morgan as she went before a judge at a bond hearing this afternoon. Inside that home, deputies say filth was piled up, plus 90 animals, many of them dead, including rats, pythons, even tarantulas were inside. Some animals were rescued, but authorities say they're in bad shape. Fox Carolina has your first look at some of those surviving animals tonight, plus an update on how the toddler is doing. Derek Dellinger live at the Lawrence County Detention Center where that mother is locked up. And Derek, how is that little boy doing? Well, he's got bleeding on the brain, some very severe injuries, and it's all in a case that is shocking even law enforcement. In this neighborhood off Martins Lake Road in Lawrence, not much happens. Even the people living there will tell you that. Horse loose once in a while or something. That's big excitement around here. But last night there was a scene that got everyone out of their homes. A helicopter on the ground, everyone unsure of what was going on as a one year old was airlifted to Greenville. But tonight a picture has developed on what happened to the child found unresponsive by rescue crews and what happened inside the home where he lived. There were three children in the home. The, the situation, the environment that they were living in uh, gave probable cause that there was neglect there. Inside, the sheriff says there was a home of disrepair filled with nearly 100 dead or dying animals, dogs that are now alive but in bad shape and in need of attention. But Chastain says there were other animals from rats to snakes to tarantulas all reportedly in reach of the children. Most of our officers probably were faced with something last night that they probably have not seen in their careers. Deputies say the adult at the center of all this was the children's mother, Savannah Morgan. She appeared in bond court by video link this afternoon, facing charges of abusing animals as well as her own children. Investigators say Morgan changed her story from her son having a seizure to her accidentally dropping the child, causing the child to be unresponsive. But investigators told us tonight that the injuries the toddler suffered are more consistent with a car accident than a drop. At the bond hearing this afternoon, some encouraging but bittersweet news on the little boy. I found out this afternoon that the, uh, the child is a little bit more responsive than it was last night, but uh, this child is looking at a major road to recovery. All while his mother sits in a jail cell and a community sits by in shock. All I can say is it's a darn shame, you know, a little kid. Morgan is being held tonight at a $75,000 bond, and if she does, by some chance, do make bond, she does have some restrictions. She cannot be near her children unless it's supervised through DSS, and we're told she cannot have a pet until the case is completely adjudicated and gone through the court system. Cody? Derek, speaking of those pets, how many animals are we talking about here that were inside that trailer? We are told that there are about 88 animals that they could specifically categorize, but we're told, for example, like some of the spiders had eggs, those eggs had hatched, and there's really no way to tell exactly how many, in, in, at least in terms of the insects that were in the home, exactly how many were in there. Cody and Diana.